Welcome back to the next Audacity tutorial. This will be number five, how to output your project in its final format for either listening or posting to a web page. So if we look here, we have the work area we were using for the past couple of tutorials. I just have two quick clips. Uh, actually, it's only about 22 seconds. Obviously, your presentation may be quite a bit longer, but the process is still the same. Once you have all your cuts and volume adjustments made to where you want, it's a pretty simple process to output it. So we will come here to File. At this point, most people want to save the project. Although this is a great idea, this actually saves the Audacity project for opening and re-editing at a later time. What you want to do is actually export the project to create it into its final form. So we go ahead and we click Export. We're then prompted with this box. Down here, under the Save As type, you want to choose the appropriate file format that you need. For the most part, you're going to want to use the MP3 file format as it is kind of the most universally compatible. So we've chosen MP3. Then I'm going to go ahead and rename this. We'll call this Final. Choose the appropriate place to save it. In this case, I'm going to save it right on the desktop and click Save. Your tracks will be mixed down into two stereo channels in the exported file. This is exactly what we want, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. You can then opt to put in some metadata, the artist name, the track name, the title name. What this does is if you were to load it onto, say, an iPod, when you are actually playing the track, it will display that metadata. But at this point, it's not necessary, so I'm not going to input anything. Click OK. It's then going to take a very short time right there to render. Normally, for a longer presentation, it's going to take a longer time to render. So now, if I take and minimize this screen, we now look up onto our desktop and right here we actually have the mp3 final and if I double click it you always want to check your audio after the fact this is going to be clip 2 on the Bill Grizz audio tutorial this is you it plays it just fine so we're looking good we got our audio exported it's now ready to go up onto the web page but that's a whole different can of worms so I hope these audio tutorials have been helpful for you if you need any other help, you can always stop by the audiovisual office and I can help you out. Or if you're viewing this on YouTube, most likely in the right hand side of the screen, you have a whole laundry list of other people doing similar audio tutorials, which are much longer and much more in depth. Feel free to use those. So I hope this has helped you. And again, this is Matt from the audiovisual office. Best of luck.